Okay guys, it's Monday the 27th of August. So as always, we are going to do our market analysis in terms of day trading for the week ahead. We're gonna cover the FTSE 100, the Forex pair, Euro USD, and the US index, the NASDAQ. So as always, these videos are mainly aimed at my zone trader students. However, if you are day trading, if you are watching these markets, hopefully the analysis um, can help you out with your trading week. Now, if you don't understand what we are going over in these videos, I'm not really sort of catering them to beginners. So if you don't understand things like support and resistance, um, some of the key things that we're going over, you can, if you are a completely new trader, look at our free introduction to trading course. If you are a little bit more advanced and looking to learn more technical um, details in terms of trading, you can look at our free decisive package. Both of those are linked below. Okay, so coming into the trading week ahead. So first of all, we're on Monday uh, doing this video rather than the Sunday. It is a bank holiday. Um, so for everyone who's off, I hope you're having a nice day off. We're starting on the FTSE 100, which is closed today. Now, all the levels are still on this chart from last week's video. The arrows representing um, our, our key levels of support and resistance. Most of the week, we were just moving sideways, trying to press higher multiple times and then simply rejecting. Yeah, making those lower highs. Now, although, there were, although we were doing this, what I kept going over with um, subscribers throughout the week was that I was relatively neutral um, because the way the market was setting up, it was still leaving open a rally up into our key resistance level one and key resistance level two. So basically 7657 to 7644 to 7630 to 7610. Both of these levels are very key resistance. Now we had a test on the Monday of that level where we rejected all the way back down. We didn't quite reach our 7512 to 7480 zone down here. We just had spikes up throughout the week, um, failing to make any new ground to the bullish side, but also failing to make any new ground to the bearish side. Um, so Monday, um, Thursday, Friday, we found support at our 7550 to 7535 level. But really what we're looking at is the market just moving sideways, making lower highs, but also you know struggling to make new lows as we've been moving forward. If you just have a look like this, and like this. So a little bit of a squeeze after the move down. Um, now, really what I'm looking at for this week is still the potential for a rally up into these key levels. If we do see the market popping up into these levels, I am more than happy to start looking for weakness. 7560, 7543, uh, 7630, 7610. Down below, our very key level, 7512, 7480, remains the same. This is very strong support. It's also very strong resistance. We've also got the ME200 in there on the daily time frame there. As we keep going over, it's if we break down below this level that the FTSE is likely turning more bearish. Um, I would say in the longer term, we've had a very strong rally and failure. We've tried to rally again, failed to make anywhere near new highs, and we've rejected down. This would be the center pivot of this previous move. If we're breaking down below here, yeah, very likely we're coming down. As I keep going over to 7,300 for next week. Key resistance, key resistance on this market. 7,585 to 7,562 is also a strong level of support and resistance on this market. Um, we're actually gonna maybe adjust this one just a little bit. Let's get rid of some of these markings. Okay, so let's delete the arrows. I'm just gonna quickly put the main ones back in. Got one right here and then up above. Key resistance, key resistance. So down at this level, we can see how the market has basically found a sort of midpoint where we're finding support and resistance. Um, what I would say is it's really 75, we're about 7590, sitting right here, all the way down into really 7570. So for next week, it's a good level of potential support and resistance. Down below there, we've got 7548, down into around about 7533. Um, I would say not quite as key. This one, very key, very key, and very key. 
um, a little bit more neutral. Really what I'm looking at is potentially the, the rally up into these levels next week. If we see it, yeah, more than happy to start looking for weakness and those stronger moves back down. This would potentially be good support on the way back down because we've broken up above a fairly strong level of support and resistance now. Good for potential intraday bullish bounces. If we start failing at this level, very likely we're coming back down to 7.512 to 7.480. Very key support. Um, longer term, if we start getting low there, yeah, stronger moves down on this market. Okay, let's move on to Euro USD. Okay, so for Euro USD, again, we've still got our levels marked on this chart. And what we went over was uh, this sloping support and resistance level. Let's actually zoom out a little bit. Sloping support and resistance level. Uh, above there, this level right here at 114.45 to 114.20 was very key support and resistance, depending on how the market was testing it. So into the Monday, resistance all the way back down to our 114 to 113.80 level, where we found support all the way back up. We started getting up above this level. And as we went over, that's potentially opening up a stronger um, bullish movement on this market. Now we had key resistance at 115 to 115.20, blew straight through it all the way up into our next key level of support and resistance, which is 116 to 116.50. Strong re um, rejection. As we can see, we actually came up and so far today, we've had another strong rejection from this level. This is very important on EURUSD. So coming into next week, or this week, sorry, because we are on the Monday, both of these levels down here, yeah, they remain very key support. Also watching the sloping support and resistance level. If we do start to break all the way back down once again, we'd be watching it as support. If we started to test, that's very far away at present. So really what we're looking at is, I'm actually gonna have a look at a couple of these zones here. I'm gonna get rid of the rectangles. I'm also gonna get rid of this little blue arrow because I'm not looking at that as a very key level anymore. I was preferring it on the way back up because we'd just be starting to test into a previous swing. Very often you can see sellers hanging about in those places looking for an early entry into a bearish movement. So we have broken down, we had a little bit of a bounce all the way back down, a little bit of a bounce, a little bit of a breakdown again, potentially a small head and shoulders going on here. This 116.50 to 116 is very key. Um, at present, it is holding as resistance. If we do break up above, it's worthwhile starting to look for potential support because very likely we then see a rally up into previous highs. And it's a very good level to look for um, those potential bounces. Now, down below, got a level at 115.60. Really, it's this whole level. We are going to use the whole thing. 115.30 right here. Good potential level of support and resistance. Again, I'm not gonna call this overly key um, for me. This one is the key one, and then back down toward these levels are the key ones. So if we do see the move above this level, very likely coming up toward the previous highs, let's actually put one more zone in up here for next week, around about 117 up into 117. 50. Again, this would be very good to watch for potential resistance if we see the market pressing up there. Yeah, testing it at all-time highs, not all-time highs, sorry, and previous highs from these one, two, three, four, five swings. Um, it's also, as we broke up, we used it as a couple of times as support before we broke down. Again, resistance, and then multiple resistances right here. It's giving us the clue that both buyers and sellers are interested in this level. So, key resistance, key support, key resistance, also, if we get up above here, it's worth us starting to look for the moves up into that resistance. And we've got a more minor level just down below there, which we'll put in at 116.75 up into really 116.90 right here. Okay, so that's everything for Euro USD, guys. Really, this is the main level on this market moving forward. Um, resistance, if we break up above, really good for support. Got nice level of support down below. Then we start getting all the way back down to the key levels at 114.45 to 114.20. Next key resistance up above is 117 to 117.50.
Okay, final market is the NASDAQ. So with this market last week, we were looking at these nice levels of potential support. I just want to double check um, or actually confirm. I'm pretty sure we added these onto the Sunday video, um, but I'm not sure if this was just added for subscribers throughout the week. Um, so if not, all I was looking at was how the market was trending down like this and potentially we're seeing a little bit of a squeeze against this bottom level of the sloping support. Now, I'm um, coming to the start of the week, we just came down, we tested at our key 7350 to 7335 level. Yeah, once very strong move up, rejection at our resistance, our support and resistance level at 7440 to 7420, which is a little bit more of a minor level, all the way back down, another huge move up. Then we got the move into our key resistance at 7475 to 7455. And then again on the Friday, another rally up into this potential resistance level at 7487 to 7520. So let's get, in fact, let's keep this line in just now. So start of this week, what are we looking at? Well, first of all, we're testing up at this potential sloping support and resistance level. It is, and it remains a good level to start looking for weakness on the NASDAQ. I mean, this whole area up here, uh, we've had multiple rejections and it is worthwhile watching as we're testing at sloping resistance for the weakness and the potential move back down once again, because really this market is starting to squeeze um, as we come toward the end of this um, triangle. So key resistance up here, yep, down below the 7475, 7455. Really now we're above a couple of swings. Um, I'm not gonna say this is key support, but it is worthwhile watching as potential support on this market. You know, we have just broken up again to all time highs. Um, when we're doing that, the market is bullish. It's still worthwhile watching at these levels. So 7440, 7420, again, a level of support and resistance. I'm not gonna say that is a key level again. However, down below 7400, 7380, now that we've made a nice strong break up, for me, this is a very good level of potential support. Again, last week, what I was looking at with um, subscribers was how we had a double top here and then we were finding multiple um, levels of resistance as we were trying to break up. And it was really this that was giving us the clue. You know, down below here, we're looking for resistance. If we started getting up above, it was starting to open up those stronger moves on the NASDAQ. Down below there, key is 7350 to 7334. Again, support if we're breaking down below, yep, absolutely for resistance. Because potentially below here, we'd be coming down to retest at 7285. Now also, the sloping support level, yeah? It's gonna change every day, um, each day, where it's gonna be sitting. We're looking at, if we scroll all the way out, zoom out a little bit, multiple swings here, being tested on this market. As we come back down once again, we're watching for potential support. If it's lining up with one of our potential trading zones, it gives it a little bit more weight to look for those potential bullish bounces. And also, if we start to break down below the sloping support and it's lining up with the zone and we're getting below the zone, then really it's opening up stronger bearish movements on the NASDAQ. But at present, you know, we're, we're, we're not looking at that really. We're just keeping all of this in our mind, we're always looking for the clues as to the bigger picture on any market we're trading. At present, we're testing back up at sloping resistance. Uh, we want to start watching for that potential weakness coming back in to this market up above there, we really don't have any evidence um, for levels to look for potential resistance. Really, you could go for the half numbers, 7550, and then up into really 7600, the round number. Um, however, for me, I do prefer to have structure as clues. Now, a price action trader, I like the market to sort of show its hand a little bit before I'm willing to risk money in the market. Okay, guys. That is everything for the NASDAQ, and that is everything for the video this week. So I hope you all have a good trading week. Um, as always, I hope the video was helpful. Um, I'm James Orr, and thank you.